Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to introduce you to my new toy. This is the Canon EOS 1300D. This is now my go-to camera. And uh, this is an entry-level camera into professional uh, photography. And uh, it's fascinating. This is the one that I can afford on a budget. If you're also starting, also look into buying 1300D. It's very good. Uh, it also shoots uh, Full HD videos as well. So this is a nice camera. This is the right camera to go to when you're starting. Okay, keep it locked and I'll show you just a few things of what you can do with it. This is the Canon EOS 1800D. Very, very nice camera. So, battery compartment, battery, switch it on, there you go. So, there's no cut, but uh, it's very, very simple as well. And if you buy a camera like this, I would suggest that you use it on manual. So these are the settings, how you set it. On sports, close up, uh, landscape, portrait, creative auto, flash off, auto, program, TV, super shutter priority, AV, and manual. And when you're using this camera, I'll suggest that you use it on manual because this will give you a range of things that you can do with it. And uh, when you use it on manual, make sure you use it on RAW as well so that you learn how to do proper uh, photography. And this is the one that I'm using for, I'll be using for my videos. So you just need to manually put it on video so that it does that. This is the button that you record button or that one zoom in zoom out flash on off on off button zoom as well display av this is the quick uh, menu where it will show you a few things this is no touch screen unfortunately so you have to navigate with these buttons on your menu or you can use this menu button where you can do a whole lot of stuff to 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 record creatively so this is a very nice camera and uh it shoots in full hd you can change lenses as well put in a lens that you want but make sure you always close it if you need to remove the lens so that dust doesn't go in make sure it's always closed like that so that dust doesn't go in or rather if you don't have it rather keep the lens in it this is a, a, a static lens 18 by 18 by 55 this is very small this is the startup lens so you can also put a flash even though it, it has a flash flash system on its own but you can also use that as well and it's got a wi-fi mode where you can connect it all right go to your menu wi-fi function on oh it's got no cut in the camera but when you do that you then look for it on the phone there click and it shows you everything basically it's got a wi-fi function all you do is go to the menu go to the menu go to wi-fi function phone connect it to your phone once it's connected you can either see the photos that are in there transfer them direct to your phone or you can use the phone is your shutter shutter button 
so you can use it as a selfie camera you can use it as uh, anything you can be as creative as you want with this camera this is very very good and i would highly recommend that if you can't afford a brand new camera but you want to get into photography go for a canon eos 1300d this is a good camera it's only four years old but it's still very relevant even in 2020 and it's a good camera